Hello my colleagues and this is a new math lesson. Subtracting rational numbers. So how can a number be a rational one? So any number can be rational if it represents a ratio, a ratio between two integers a and b, where b is the denominator with which doesn't equal 0, like for example 3 over 4, 17 over 45, 101 over 585. And this term was first to be released by the Italian mathematician Giuseppe Piano. If we subtract 3 from 7, sure we got 4, but uh, if we want to minimize this 4 to make it equal to 4 over 5, 4 fifths, so you think to multiply this whole term is with 1 fifth, 1 over 5, to, and then distribute it like saying 7 over 5 minus 3 over 5 equals 4. So when we have the same denominator, the denominators easily. What if we doesn't have a same denominator, like saying 1 over 12 minus 1 over 18? First of all, we have to look deeply to find that 12 and 18 share a common factor, which is 6, like saying 1 over 2 times 6 minus 1 over 3 times 6. So 3 is odd to 12, and 2 is odd to... So we multiply each term... 1 in the form equals 1, like saying 1 multiplied by 3 over 3 and 1 over multiplied by 2 over 2. 3 over 36 minus 2 over 36 have now is the same denominator. So we subtract easily, we got 1 of 36. Let's have another case where the denominators are not equal and ha share no common factor actually any number any two numbers share a common factor which is the multiplication element one but uh, i can simplify by dividing by one this this this, uh, this this doesn't affect the value of the number so i say it's equal to 3 over 5 minus 3 over 7 equal to 3 over 5 times 1 minus 3 over 7 times 1 you got it 7 is uh, odd for this term and so 5 is odd. multiplication 1 to say 3 over 5 minus 21 over 35 minus 50 which equals 6 over 30 that was case 3 we reached the end of our lesson so stay tuned and wait for us